You bet. All right, Jason, we know a few pet owners who've made valiant but failed attempts over these past couple of months to trim the nails or trim the fur of their dogs and cats. Well, good news. You no longer have to chase those unwilling animals around and force them to cooperate. Kim DiGiulio shows us groomers were allowed to reopen today with new social distancing measures in place. It's been nearly three months since pet groomers had to shut down for COVID-19. Now they are back open and anticipating lots and lots of fur. Claus and Paws Pet Grooming is back open, but now with a new business model. It's really different. We're doing curbside pickup and drop off and we're only taking credit card by phone. Owner Michelle Gardner says she typically sees her clients every four to six weeks. So some of the pets she's seeing today are unrecognizable. Mops, you could not see their face, anything. They looked very bushy. And so what we're doing is we're telling everybody that we're shaving your dog down just to start them over again, unless they're in really good condition. Very all over. She's also busy fixing those home salon attempts. Yeah, sure, we can fix that for you. We tried at home with clippers just for a little bit, but you know, so they could see, but otherwise it's, you know, not great. Michelle says being out of business for three months was tough on her financially, but she owes everything to the landlord who was patient with rent and now her clients who are already making up for some of her losses. You know, they're giving us like a lot of money and tips and things like that. And I'm like, I'm so grateful. See you soon. Thank Bye. you. If your pet is in need of grooming, unfortunately, you may still have to wait a few months. This pet grooming salon says that they're booked all the way through July. In Clawson, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4.